Hello, and welcome back to another one of John's never ending list of random things to do. And for today's video, we are going to be installing the wires that we prepared in the previous video. Let's begin by jacking up our car, or in this case, using ramps to raise your car up. Chalk off your wheel here, and right here. Good. Now going back to the battery, you want to remove the negative terminal. First you want to remove the nut closest to the front of the vehicle, right here. Then you want to remove this nut right here. Then pull off the negative terminal from the battery. Now let's go underneath the vehicle. You're going to remove these two Phillips screws. Now using a flathead, remove the two retainers on the right and left side. Going further to the back side of the vehicle are four retainers. Using your flathead screwdriver, remove these four retainers. Now that all retainers have been removed, place your hand on the bottom panel and push it backwards, like so. And then pull the panel out. Let's have a look inside. We're going to start with the starter and remove this bolt located in this area. Using a needle nose plier, you want to remove this clip right here. Pinch it from both ends, squeeze gently, and then remove the clip. Good. Use a breaker bar, a short extension, and a 17mm socket to break loose this bolt. After the bolt has been broken, go ahead and use your ratchet and remove the bolt completely. At some point you can use your fingers to remove the bolt. Now let's have a look at the alternator. Remove this rubber boot and then pull the boot back. Using a 12 millimeter and a ratchet, break loose this nut right here. Once the nut has been loosened, it can be removed by hand. Remove the positive terminal and then place it aside somewhere. Now we want to work on this piece. We want to trim around here until it's nice and flush. Using a flush cutter, you can cut the trim like so. Using this method may take quite some time. Again, you are working blindly. You do not see what you are cutting. So let's go ahead and remove the alternator. Insert a 19 millimeter wrench right here and pull it to the front of the vehicle. Do not let go. While holding this 19mm wrench, remove the serpentine belt from the alternator. This can be done from above. Now slowly release. Good. There are two bolts holding the alternator. First we're going to remove the top bolt. Go ahead and break it loose and then remove it completely. Now break loose the bottom bolt, and then remove the bolt completely. Now work the alternator out. Be careful not to drop it.
place the alternator in a position that allows you easy access and then trim the rest of the plastic trim. Just in case if you were wondering, why don't you just pull it off? Well, I tried. Using a washer, we're going to test to see if it's a flush fit. And we're good. Now reinstall the alternator, fasten the top bolt, but leave it loose. And now we can start reinstalling the positive terminals. Now securely tighten down the nut. Now move the rubber boot back to its original position. Here at the bottom of the alternator, insert the bolt through the negative ring terminal and then install it onto the alternator. Tighten it down by hand first and then tighten the bottom and top bolt to 33 foot pounds. Remember to reinstall your serpentine belt as well. Here at the starter, this is the negative ring terminal that we had to drill to half inch. Insert the bolt through the negative ring terminal and then install it. Again, tighten it down by hand first and then torque it down. Don't forget to reinsert the plastic clip this wire is the one connected to the positive terminal of the alternator. Using a 10 millimeter, remove this bolt. We will be replacing this wire. Using an abrasive brush and a drill, remove the paint from the surface. This will expose the metal surface, resulting in better conductivity. Install the new negative cable. This cable is roughly 18 inch in length. All negative terminals can now be installed. this last positive terminal, I had to shave the end right here. Before we can install the last positive wire, remove the negative terminal once again and set it aside somewhere safely where it will not make contact. This is a possible location where you can install the positive ring terminal. I had to add a washer on the front side and the back side. Now we need to cut this plastic trim so we can close the lid. And that looks good. Now connect the last positive wire. Tighten everything down. Reinstall the plate. Lastly, connect the negative terminal and then tighten it down. Let's have a look at what we've done.
Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to install the bottom panel. Since you removed the battery, you're gonna get all of these crazy lights that turns on, and they're not gonna turn off. So I'll show you what to do. First off, your radio doesn't need a code. Just press and hold the power button. And take your car out for a spin. All the lights will go out. There it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. And then if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys for the next installation.